I really like the topic of angles. It can be quite a lot of fun in measuring them, but it can cause a lot of problems when children are not familiar on how to use an angle measurer or indeed a protractor, simply because it has two scales on here and children are not always certain on which one to use. Just a reminder that angles can be classified into either acute, right angled, obtuse or reflex. Acute angles do not mean soft, fluffy, nice looking little animals. Acute angles are indeed small angles which are in fact less than 90 degrees. Right angles are indeed 90 degrees and are shown with a square where the arc would normally be. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180. Quite a big angle in fact. Now reflex angles are actually the biggest angles of all and they extend beyond 180 degrees. That. Now, I want you to play a little game now and you can pause the clip each time, have a little guess at what the angle is and then compare it with say a partner or something like that. So, this first angle, have a little guess at its classification. Is it acute, obtuse, a right angle or reflex? Then actually have a guess at how big the angle is in terms of size. It is actually an acute angle and believe it or not, this is 60 degrees. How close were you to that? Little guess at this one. Pause the clip, write your answer down. It is actually an obtuse angle of 130 degrees. Are you getting any better? What about this one? Have a little guess, pause the clip, compare notes. Well, it is actually another obtuse angle of 100 degrees. How close were you? Have a go at this angle now, it's a big one. Guess its classification and its size. Pause the clip, write your notes down. Well, in fact, it is a reflex angle of 240 degrees. Angles with an angle measurer, it is worth doing exactly the same exercise as we've just done. Have an initial guess at your angle. How big do you think that angle is? From my classification, I know that that is an acute angle. It is less than 90. In fact, I would hazard a guess at probably 50 to 60 degrees. Now, using the angle measurer, I find my zero line, which is up here. I place this on this initial line here with the gun target right on the, the center point here. Now, I have two scales to read. Where it intersects, I have a 50 and a 310. But which one do I use? Well, I've already made a guess. I said it was between 50 and 60. So in fact, this angle here is in fact 50 degrees. And I've used the scale correctly. Apply the same principle to larger angles. Have an initial guess. Well, I think that that is an obtuse angle. It's more than 90, but less than 180. It's not far off 180, so I'm going to take a guess at around about 160 to 170 degrees. Measuring the angle then, once again, I place my angle measurer, the zero line in line with this initial line here, the target right on the center point, the intersection here actually gives me two readings, 160 and 200. Well, I made an initial guess of 160 to 170, and in fact, it is actually 160 degrees. This is probably one of the trickiest ones now. It's a big angle all the way around there. Well, I know from my classification that that is indeed a reflex angle. My initial guess would be, well, it's beyond three quarters. And I know 270 degrees is just beyond three quarters. In fact, I would take a guess at around about 300 degrees. So placing my angle measurer, on my line, my zero point goes up here, my center point right there. Now I have two scales here. One says 70, one says 290. Remember my initial guess was around 300. So in fact, it is 290 degrees. So in making that initial guess often gives me a good insight on which scale to use on my angle measurer. I hope that helps.